Hello everyone and welcome to a Company of Heroes 2 game. We got a one versus one game on our hands today. So uh, let's jump in. In the blue we have Jacques. Or well actually it's uh, Osiligath playing under the alias here. He is playing as the Austere and he has locked in the Jaeger Infantry Doctrine. Give him access to Jaegers and their G43 rifles among other things. And he is up against Baton Chick, playing as the British. And he too has locked in a commander. Special weapon regiments, which gives him access to the flamethrower tank. All right. But let us see how the game progresses here. Any interesting bulletins? Well, Osilicas heavy machine guns earn XP faster. And then there's, of course, the closed fist, along with the uh, cheaper mines. That's on Chick, on the other hand. Wow, that's a quick first engagement. His land mattress here, this won't be useful seeing as he can't call in the land mattress with this commander. Uh, his Royal Engineers earn experience faster and his sniper rifle special ability recharges a bit faster. Well, actually a lot faster, it's 25%. But here it is, the Universal Carrier, the Universal Hated Unit, if you're on the Axis, um, you know, on the receiving end of this thing here, gets in close with the Pios and does do a bit of damage there to it. And, well, he's kiting a little bit there with it. You know, Pioneers, they don't do a whole lot of damage to anything at long range, so... Hmm. Here comes the heavy machine gun for Monsieur Osiliath. And that thing can punch some holes into the Universal Carrier. And now the Universal Carrier is retreating. It's falling back up here where the uh, Baton Chicks engineers are. They can repair the tanks simultaneously while they are capping the fuel point. So great multitasking. Raising the flag with one hand, blowtorch in the other. Let's go. Oh, oh Baton Chick here. He is, yeah, he has gone for the sniper rush here quickly to put up his platoon command post so he can push out this sniper. Wow, that's some fast tech. Oh, good. We saw that the destroy cover was used. That. Uh, truck there gives green cover, which is mostly beneficial to uh, Osilica. So, yeah, getting rid of that. Alternatively, he could have left it and instead had uh, built some barbed wire to deny the uh, one of the sides of the green cover there. So that he only could use it in a meaningful way. Sniper. There he is. Coming in with... Um, bit of a uh, a cannon for hunting birds you know yeah that one shot one dead i mean you could probably blow a man's leg off with that rifle there we go Silicath on the move here he's looking to take the fuel from baton chick and three grenadiers are closing in. They have the Panzerfaust ready. But Batonchik kites the universal carrier, stays at a safe distance, while the sniper, being protected by the universal carrier, continues to pick up units from afar. And I am surprised to see Batonchik goes for the medics. I would have uh, expected him to go for more infantry rather than going for medics right now. Hmm. And what is he doing here? Why is he not getting any more infantry? What is he planning? Could it be that he is saving up for tank hunter infantry? They will be uh, useful once um, Silly Gas get the Like a Mechanized Company up. And running. Oh, it's raining outside quite a lot. See, there it is. The uh, 2 to 2 scout car coming onto the battlefield. And the boys here. The tank on the boys. They are very good versus light vehicles. 
Meanwhile, the sniper here continues to pick off the enemy one by one. Also, by the way, the 222's uh, machine gun has a um, accuracy bonus versus snipers. Making it better at um, dealing with snipers. I'm not going to say it's good dealing with snipers. Not at vet zero. It needs more veterancy for that. Then it gets better. Ooh. Didn't get it. And here we see. Here they are. Tank Hunter Infantry Section. Carrying two anti-tank rifles here. You can kind of tell which one it is, you know, by the sheer size. And, oh boy. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Dove on in there, taking care of the Universal Carrier. So its job is almost done now. It's just gonna need to deal with the sniper. But um, with these guys around, it's gonna be a little more difficult. They also come with uh, their own anti-tank grenades, which can uh, cause engine damage to the 222. More infantry sections with those big guns coming on in. It's not PTRS rifles. I'm not quite sure what they are called. Equipped with boys AG rifle. Yeah, there we go. Boys AG rifle. Oh boy. Enemy threatening a capture point. Also, here's a little fact for you guys. These rifles sound identically to the sniper rifle here. So uh, anytime Jackie hears that distinct boom sound, there is a chance that it is the sniper that's lurking around, or it could just be these guys here firing. Oh, oh. They are flanked here, the heavy machine gun facing the wrong way. And plus, the sniper is also there. Ooh. Wow. Oh. Those three men, they died so quickly there. What a terrible. Thing for Osiligas to lose here, losing his heavy machine gun. We saw Osiligas trying to deal with the problem here with a rifle grenade, but these boys here, they packed up just fast enough. Uh oh. G43 rifles have been issued. I completely understand that choice. The G43 rifles make for excellent weapons while moving as they retain 90% of their damage output while moving. So while they run and gun, they are more accurate, which is perfect when you want to chase down a sniper. Because right now, Osiligath here can't really or shouldn't really go for the, uh, the, uh, the machine gun here, the light machine gun. Because that thing is only useful while you're stationary. And staying in cover when there is a sniper away is just letting the sniper begging to take shots at you. As we just see here. And back to base they go. Infantry section here. Just gonna cab a little bit of infantry. Hmm. Yeah, despite the uh, Baton Chick's um, victories on the battlefield. Well, at least he had one victory taking that heavy machine gun. He did lose the universal carrier. But nonetheless, it is actually Osiligath here who is dominating in terms of map control. And these guys, what are they doing? Oh, the sniper, right. He spotted that. Uh, but did zero damage. And that's after I've been praising the G43 rifles that are being good on the move. But there's always that RNG in the game here. And what we're seeing here is not RNG. We're seeing the 2 to 2 going down. Poof. Right in the fuel tank by the looks of it. Job well done. These guys here is going to retreat. While the others have retreated back into a cover position. 
We see Batonchik getting on the field again. He's trying to get the fuel under his control. Uh, yes, 20 fuel making me believe. Yes, he is indeed taking up, unlocking the company command post here, giving him access to tanks. And we do also see that Osiligath has escalated to battle phase two, allowing him to build the uh, support armor corps so he can, he too can get some tanks. And open fire here. They have been issued with the ambush camouflage, but they were detected despite being on hold fire. But, whoa, okay, there we go. There's some good damage. One, two, three, dead. And now can these guys survive? The sniper has roughly a 60% chance of hitting. Nope, he didn't even take the shot. But look at this. Siligath, he has had enough. He's calling in his own sniper here. By the looks of it, he's not looking to get any counter snipes here. No, no, no. He wants to make his opponent bleed manpower. Shooting model after model here. This is like a first person shooter game. Side strafing a bit. Hua. There he is, the sniper. Also on hold fire. Meaning dead. Baton chick. He's out for a counter snipe. Oh my god, it's gonna. <gasps> he just moved at the last second here, but look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is getting dangerous. They've been spotted. Despite the. No, there's the retreat. Run! Let's see those G43 rifles fire! Come on, move in, move in! He's not following up there. He should continue to move in, and he does so. There we go! And that's why the G43 rifle are good versus snipers. And now Batron Chick finds himself in uh, quite the predicament here. He lost his sniper, but his opponent still, ha still has his. And just as I said so, he lost a huge chunk of life. Oof. I actually thought he was gonna die there. <sighs> now he's got all these HE rifles. Um, which don't do an awful lot of damage against infantry. Unless it's on a sniper. Because gaming. So, uh, yeah, he's he's lacking some anti-infantry capabilities right now. But he's soon going to get out of tank soon, so shouldn't be much of a problem. Also, Vasiligath here hasn't gone for a anti-tank gun. And his opponent, he is roughly 10 fuel away from getting out of tank. But then again, let's see. Ah, Osiligath, he can get his own tank right now. So it's a-okay. Uh-oh. Nope. <laughs> Moves away the sniper. And this here is also a way to deal with the sniper. Just get... Lots and lots of infantry and just run down the sniper. I mean, he can't keep running back forever until he's back in the base. Obviously, he would be safe there. As the sniper here, he can't deal with all this infantry at once. But that's why you need infantry to guard the sniper. Hey, 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 look who's here. It is the Panzer IV. Our are the hmm. That's a fuel tank down there, so it looks like. No wonder it's on the back of the tank. No way, that's... That couldn't be a fuel tank, could it? Nah. Well, I don't know. Just seems kind of weird to have it exposed. Mm. Light artillery awaits your orders. Sniper continuing to pick off the AT boys here in this hut. 
There goes another one. <coughs> and outside of the building they go. Cromwell. Ready to take on the Panther IV, which is uh, not in a fighting shape as it quickly hit the mine as we saw a few seconds ago. Sten guns going pop, pop, pop here. And those grins didn't want anything to do with it. Now an AT gun is out for Baton Chick. So it is coming also out for a, a silly gaff. Hmm. Let's have a look at the VPs. It's, is um, Osilikath leading? Not the biggest lead, but a lead nonetheless. And at the moment, let's see. Yeah, Osilikath, he is busy healing, reinforcing. The men that are ready are being pushed onto the battlefield. The sniper, he is in front here. Camouflaging every once in a while and now standing completely open. Okay, there we go. Falling back. Good on him. Pioneers. Just gonna get rid of that mine. They spotted that with the minesweeper. Oh, what? Actually have hold the line being used here. And that is gonna be uh, lethal for Osiligath's men here. Once the planes start swooping on in, that could easily wipe one of these squads. Once the green smoke appears, then you know there's a plane on the way. There, there we go. There's the smoke. Okay, it's red smoke. Pardon me. A little bit of green cover there. Soaking up most of the damage. Look at that. Below half health. See, all the sectors that's marked with green are being protected by, um, by those planes. And here comes another swoop. And retreat. Okay. <laughs> they are actually also up there, apparently, despite it belonging to uh, his opponent. How weird. Right. I think we have seen the last of the planes here. The ability has expired. And as we can see on the map, all the green sectors are gone. So no more planes for Baton Chick, at least for now. Hmm. Is there any teching happening? No, he's not escalated up to hammer or anvil tactics. Hmm. And what about here? No escalation to battle phase three. See a heavy machine gun down there. Managing to suppress that squad apparently and now focusing on this approach up here The boys are in town with their AG rifles <sighs> And this oh there we go some damage coming in on the Panther 4 right now Very good and the Panther 4 withdraws, but there is a pack gun up here returning fire onto the Cromwell So it too will fall back and await repairs before it's ready for a, yet another beating Another Cromwell here for Baton Chick. Siligath also with the Panzer IV, soon to be ready. And hmm. they were. See, these guys, they have an ability that I cannot show because all of the uh, anti tank boys are either retreating or inside a trench. But there is some uh, vehicle detection ability here. So what Baton Chick used here was that ability to detect the Panther IV and hopefully use the AD boys to get some shots in on uh, the Panther IV, damaging it further. Cromwell. Oh, a rather splendid. I say, isn't that a rather splendid Cromwell? I say it is.
What is he doing here? Is he attack grounding or something? Okay, there we go. Shooting at these boys now. And the Panther 4 rolling on here, helping. The infantry clear the trench, uh, or at least took up a bit of damage. But over here, trouble is brewing. Both Cromwells are here. Uh, one is more damaged than the Panther 4, though. And, oh yeah, this pack on here, targeting the weak one of them. Smart. Bounce from P4, and yeah, nothing really came of that push. Heavy machine gun were in production for Silicath, but cancels it in favors of a mortar. The mortar is excellent versus emplacements and garrisons. Now what? Hmm. Look at this. Aha! He's escalating up to battle phase 3, which will give him access to um, beefier tanks and heavy artillery. The Panzerwerfer. The and you know what, a Panzerwerfer? It's also good versus trenches and uh, garrisons. Team weapons in general. So is the mortar, but the, the Panzerwerfer just hits harder. Oh, a little too close here. Mm, could get a Panther found off, not that it would cause engine damage as this thing has yet to be softened up, but could uh, do a little bit of damage nonetheless and earn the grins a little bit of veterancy. One boy got ran over there. German pancakes. Mm -hmm. For cannibals, that is. Let's see, the Santa 4 here has been in intimate enemy territory and doing sweet FA. Oh! What the? Did... Was that really a shot from... That Cromwell, it could have been. And now this one goes down. And the other Cromwell here is looking to avenge his fallen brother. But there's just too much backup up there. And how did that even get spotted? I mean, he were in cover. He should have been cloaked. Perhaps he fired and killed something. Here comes the plane and whoops. Like I said, those planes, they are lethal. Oh, this AT gun here is looking to get into melee range. I'll show that uh, six pounder what a pack gun can do, man. Eh? Another plane. Looks like these guys here just dodging it. But boy, those planes have been shot down again and again. That's it with these pindle mounted machine guns here. They can target. Uh, Aircrafts, they are not as good as dedicated anti-air, but you know, when you have a couple of Panzer IVs with pendle-mounted machine guns up, it all adds Hammer up. For for now, Zilligath here, he lost his sniper, much to the relief of him baton chick, but uh, what he doesn't realize is the sniper has been retrained. Respawned, if you will. Call of Duty Deluxe player right here. <sighs> Ready to hit some hits. <sighs> Boom. Headshot. Our capture point. They're trying to take it. Hard ahead. Either way, Jerry's dead, as the um, American sniper would say in uh, Company of Heroes 1. One of my favorite voice lines. Right, so we did see Osiligath check up to battle phase 3, but he has yet to get down the tech structure. If he gets that uh, structure planted, he would also benefit from a passive ability called the All Out War, which uh, reduces the reinforcement cost on 
most of his infantry squads that we see up here in team weapons. Just a little bit, but you know, again, everything counts in large amounts. Though he will have to pay 100 manpower to get down the structure. But uh, that's about it. It looks like he is indeed. There it is. Tech structure going down. And we got some beams here floating. <clears throat> Don't worry, they'll be supported soon enough. As soon as they are done building, they will be completely supported. There we go. More trenches being built here by Batonchik, or at least he's trying to. The Panzer Fours are uh, the garden keepers here. They don't want anyone digging in their garden. So they respond with firing. Kicking up some dirt, gravel, whatnot. Oh, 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 oh. Is he gonna go in further? No, he's not. Didn't want to chase the sniper there. Meanwhile, AT gun, AT gun, trench, heavy machine gun. Bachon Chick is really digging in hard. Keeping a lockdown on this part of the map. Whereas Osiligath, he is encroaching up north here and this pentaphorus again all the way over here what is he hoping on getting done over there with the pentaphor more trenches you know trenches cost zero manpower so no wonder why baton chick is just spamming away <sighs> what will be the first thing here from Vasiligath? A panther, maybe? That would be a little bit overkill. A broombear would be good in a situation like this. But look at this. We have hammer tactics, evident by the uh, logo up there on top of the building. Meaning, comet tanks are now an option for Baton Chicken. In fact, you could click it now, but... Oh, he's gonna go for the crocodile! Hmm, in that case, the Panzer Force are gonna struggle having to penetrate the crocodile's armor. And he only got one pack gun here, so the crocodile could be a wrench into um, Osiligath gears here. Especially now that he's going Broombear instead of a Panther, but... <sighs> Panther just packs more firepower and... Is the better option versus a crocodile, I'd say. The broom barrel, however, it excels in other areas, that it being versus infantry and team weapons. And also uh, trenches. It is quite a bunker buster unit. And there we go, a flare in the sky? Launched by the Jaeger Command Squad. The flares, they provide the visions. So, um, the sniper here, he can easily uh, pick his target. Targets? He's not satisfied with one target. I'll let you know. And there it is. The crocodile here. <sighs> Gonna come out here with the devil's tongue, licking the Germans in their neck. Well, it may have a flame for its uh, front turret. Yep, still works. So... It can still defend itself against Panzer Force, as we can see here. And wow, Panzer Force are actually having success penetrating. And of course, just as I said, so it bounced. But dude, you need some help over here. Cromwell on the hunt even. Nope, not quite, but it is speeding over here with the emergency war speed. And whoa, that crocodile got bullied by the Panzer IV. I did not expect that. Meanwhile, the Broom Bear, the speedy potato, has taken damage as well. And there we go. Another flare has been launched here, providing vision for the sniper and the mortar. Oh, even a little bit of light artillery barrage there. Hoping to catch Baton Cheek off guard here, but he paid attention and thus moved his infantry out of harm's way. And there we go. That's the uh, 
downside of trenches they can be used by the enemy as well as you oh a little bit of base inspection there silly gath just poking in just to see if it could perhaps pick up the uh, the crocodile but these royal engineers they are armed with 80 grenades Oh, there we go. Looks like that uh, was a mine. Yeah, he pr yeah he drove over a mine. It's engine damage, and again, Cromwell speeds in there, takes out the Panzer IV. The other one manages to get away. What's happening back in the middle? A little bit of suppression. Sniper is hurt. We just saw a lot of concentrated fire operations somewhere. I guess it's well. I Honestly, don't have a clue where it was supposed to land. Enemy uh, and we also saw a bit of Stuka strafing support there, but it too didn't do much by the looks of things. Okay. Being down and uh, a Panzer IV. Jack goes for an 80 gun, a second one now to help out. Oh yeah, those rifles here doing doing a bit of chip damage bit by bit. There it is. The flamethrower tank. It's gonna burn these guys here. Flame weapons do extra damage to units in cover and garrison cover. the g43 gang oh good hit here from the crocodile taking down two men in one shot it's almost up to bit one which gives it um experiment can rapidly replace extended fuel tanks okay so the flamethrower gun is reloaded faster boom there we go broom bear it is actually uh, useful versus tanks if the tank is completely stationary <laughs> otherwise it's easy to dodge the shots from a broom bear i would not recommend you sitting uh, still with your tanks and taking fire <laughs> just fyi Now it's time for the croc to fall back a bit. There's the grenade toss. Ah. Well, Tom, he certainly caught the grenade, unfortunately for him. They were not playing hot potato this time around. Oof. And that mill spawn there actually stunned. The broom bearer a bit. Just a tiny bit though. Hmm. A capture point is being overrun. Sniper here. He is about to be chased by these guys, but nope. Now he's cloaked. It's all good. Bye bye. Even firing an incendiary around. Stunning. And killing the men. You look hot today, I have to say. Well, thank you, you too, said the crocodile. As it burned its enemies. Oh boy. Broom broom. And just like that, both AT guns going down here for Baton Chick. And his tanks are in urgent need of repairs. Still has his AT rifle boys uh, alive. <laughs> but yeah, that AT gun is destroyed. That AT gun is still recruable. Now, Jack here is going for a pounce of four. I would just cancel it and get... Uh, 
and we'll get a panther or even a panzerwerfer. Hmm. Quiet time back here in base. Units are busy repairing the mighty crocodile. The map territory control for Baton Chick is not too bad considering the, the beating he just took. But we can see that Vasilikath is working on grabbing some territory. And of course, an unexpected loss there. Uh, seriously. Seriously. Apparently, Osiligas had his tank parked and died to an uh, anti tank gun. A capture point is being overrun. Didn't really expect uh, Osiligas to just serve the Panzer IV on a silver platter for his opponent. Not in that situation. When uh, there weren't that much action on the field, mostly the just units point. sitting, waiting. Hmm. Okay. Oh, how quaint. They even build a trench down here. And they can occupy the trench and still capture the, the victory point. If they so decide to do so. And now a comet is on the way. We're gonna see the big tank here. Okay, Panzerwerfer for time. 10, 15 centimeter rockets raining from the sky will soon be upon Batonchik. Who uh, is under a little bit of pressure here. He is being triple capped, so he's losing victory points at a rapid pace here. Our capture point. They're trying to take it. Let's see Churchill going up. Gonna do something about the situation up north. There's no AG up here. And now up and even the comet is joining in uh, on the north as Batsunchik prepares himself. Getting fuel there, more for you for uh, Siliga. Oh, and look at this the broom bear here. Bunker busting tank in action. Got rid of that trench. A little bit of a dive is actually happening over here. Nido gets in around the anti-tank gun, dancing around it. There we go, decrewed, very nice. Another pack gun here is ready to return fire. Two men remaining, one needs to die, and then the AT gun is decrewed. And here comes Comet even going in. But look at this, Churchill, it bounces, but not before destroying this. Yeah, we just lost that heavy machine gun squad. And this is greatly overextended here. Osiligath did not expect this. And now, could you have imagined if that Panzer IV had been a panther? Can you, can you imagine that? I mean, this whole push here would have been so much different, I'd say. And just like that, Baton Chick here annihilates uh, Osiligath's army. I mean... No, no team weapons remaining. The remaining men that we see here on screen, they're burning. They're burning while the rest here is on the, the field here fighting a losing battle. Except for these guys here, but back to the base. The crocodile is using its emergency war speed to disengage. It's afraid of what could come onto the battlefield here. Almost takes out the mid bunker here. Which he, I'd say he could have done. I mean, come on. That little health left. Go on. He, could, he should have done that. But it's not too late. Okay, there we go. He's beginning constructing. But, 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 but. Got a Comet tank sitting out here. Meanwhile, the Cromwell is... Uh, keeping the back lines. Got a pack gun coming out here for Vasiliga. He's still fighting. Oh, but the... The Grins, yeah, dying there on retreat. Here we go, we're seeing a Stuka anti-tank strafe. But I think it's a bit pointless here, yeah. Oh, and the pack gun has even taken a lot of damage. Oh, and continues to do so. 
he has fuel for a Panzer IV, but again, Panzer IV is this not what you want when you're up against Churchills and Comet tanks. And now, hold the line is even being used here. Vasiligath cannot exit, and my recommendation is for Siligath just to give up. He is beaten. And no movement is happening here. I think Siligath may have done it. He may have thrown in the towel. There's no way that he's gonna get a panther out. Yeah, he has left the game. No movement here, leaving them to die. GG, baton chick takes the victory here as uh, one great push that we saw here from uh, Baton Chick swooping on in with his armor completely overwhelming um, Usiligath and that that was it Usiligath tried to fight back here with an AT gun but uh, realized that it was pointless and now let's get to burn and that will be it for this time you people I hope you enjoyed this one. Like and subscribe if you did. Dislike the video if you disliked it. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. And if you're one of the few people still hanging around, let's quickly have a look at some stats here. And that is almost a beautiful number here for Baton Chic. Kind of even uh, in terms of the KDs for both players. Small lead to Baton Chic. Here we see the army graphs. And it was at this moment the push came in. Batsuchik just destroyed Osiligath. And resource float being resource float. And this here is just as it is. Kind of dominated at one point. But Osiligath, he was definitely a strong contender. Oh yes, I feel like this could have gone both ways, especially if it had gone for a panther instead of that second A4. Oh well. And let's just quickly scroll through the units here. I don't really see that much interesting. Sniper is not available here, so we can't see how many kills he got. Now moving on to... Siligath is his. Okay, snipers getting 43 kills. Not bad. And the rest of the units here. Yep, that would be it. See you guys later. Goodbye.